I got a Samsung Galaxy 7. <sighs> I want this motherfucker to broke so I can get me a new phone. <laughs> but to continue what I was talking about, yeah, my book was an instant fail. I didn't. I entered the liter literally world, literally <laughs> the literary world, not knowing anything. I entered a scary world. <laughs> it was extremely scary and extreme, extremely harsh. I was twenty two ish, twenty three ish when I f published my first book, and I I gotta be honest with you, I didn't have no money to pay a big time publisher to publish my book. But I was so eager in a rush to tell my story that I didn't succeed. For one thing, the editing was bad. I, didn't, I couldn't afford an edit, editor, so I tried to do it on my own. And, and boy, oh boy, <laughs> the, the internet eat me alive. Ooh. Excuse me, I had to take a pause. I'm just thinking back about to all my failures. And I'm like, this one this story was so precious to me because I I was so proud of it. I was so proud to understand and know where I come from. And I wanted wanted to really let the world know that hey, despite popular belief, there are some royal Royalty is still left in this world. They might not be white in, in England or, you know, a fair skin color like people would think they would be, but they're here. <laughs> and I'm one of them, and I wanted the world to know that King Tut's family still exists in me, in my maternal line. <sighs> world isn't ready. The world wasn't ready. And I don't think I was. But still, still, wholeheartedly, I believe that I am a descendant of ancient Egyptian royalty. More specifically, African royalty. I believe that I'm a descendant of African royalty because Egypt is in Africa. And I believe that this is, King Tut is a part of me, an extension of who my family was, and an extension of me. And I'm going to continue to believe that. And that's why I call my channel Manifested by the Autumn. Because I believe that still to this day, we still reign supreme. And we have been manifested by the Autumn. Call them God, Yahweh, or whomever. It's all the same. But this is why I call my channel Manifested by the Autumn. Because I still believe. And I'm honoring my ancestors. Man, oh man. There's so much great African history that I wish that they could teach us in the, in the history books. And they're never going to. They want to keep us trapped and enslaved. But for me, knowing this and knowing where I come from, it makes me proud. It makes me strong. And it makes me walk with a mean motherfucking switch. And no one can tell me about and that's why I'm so glad to say that, yes, I have been manifested by the author. 